what I realized after doing 35 years in prison, food disrupt everything I knew and understood about human beings. It shifted me to even begin to look at the value of my past experience and the value of me and those that was around me. We, uh, unbeknown to myself, because of the way in which that we did eat, I began to see myself and many people around me as subhuman. Now that's not a conscious design, but living in that environment for so long, being trained like that, it helps us, help me to understand how to relate the food today and understand how to use food to restore what is taken from many people that have been incarcerated to try to help them not just get a healthy diet in terms of carrots and vegetables, but the goal for me as a at reentry and recovery at the food trust is to help people to get a healthy respect for themselves again. I think that's very important because there's no amount of nutrition education that I could give if the individuals that I'm giving this education to don't feel worthy, not only of the education, but worthy of a better quality of food, which represents a better quality of life. Prison life disrupts the very value of human beings. It destroys a human being to the point that when we release these individuals from prison, they come back to society, and we'll talk about that a little bit later, but they come back more damaged than we was initially. And this is something that we're gonna to have to deal with. 